Hello, back again. Um, today I'm going to be demonstrating the Waldorf Dove field again, which is this beauty here. I'm going to be showing you the wavetable synthesis features on it today. Um, very simple patch using just one oscillator. You see here, the other two are off. Um, no filters being used, they're completely bypassed. The filter envelope obviously has been used, amplitude envelope is going to be used. I'm using one LFO and only one. Uh, the modulation matrix doesn't come into it, and there's no effects. It's completely dry, no applicator or anything like that. So right, here we are. We've got our wave table. Just like this, um, it is being cycled through. I've set the pulse width halfway through, which starts you bang in the middle of the wave table, and then the amount of modulation to 55, so it takes you to almost the two extremes of the wave table. And it sounds like this. Quite obvious that it's wave table synth. Now he's there. Now what you can do, of course, is you can you can say, well, actually, I like the wave table sound up around up around here. Obviously, you can't go with 55 because you'll hit the ends, but you can say 20. You hear the steady tone there, that's where it's reached the end of the wavetable because I've got wavetable in it on. But I prefer myself to stay somewhere in around the centre, it doesn't have to be bang in the centre, just for this example I'm using it at the centre. And then obviously I don't want to be going to the end stop, so I'll set it to 57 or so. Of course, this is just one particular uh, way of table. There's ones like this. One like this. Very different ones then, such as the vocal ones. Anyhow, back to the patch I was making. I was using the prolated with the table, which is that one there. Nice rich sound to start with. And uh, all I've used is another fold to sweep through the wave table. And then I have used my amplifier envelope. That was just to give it a really sharp transient attack quite a fast decay, a very low sustain, so if I want to I can hold it and it'll be barely audible. And then quite a long release. And I've set it to monophonic as well. Sounds quite oriental, I think. Kind of like Chinese, Japanese type thing. Correct me if I'm wrong. Probably am. Um, and that's the wavetables. That's just one oscillator. There's three there. Two of them can do the wavetable synthesis. You can even frequency modulate them. Um, there's ring modulation as well. There's a noise source. There's an analog oscillator with oscillator three. You have two filters with loads of different filter shapes envelopes, you've modulation matrix, you can do all sorts of crazy things with an effects section which I haven't touched, an applicator which sounds quite nice with this patch. Um so if I can just turn it on just just to prove a point. And just holding a simple chord. And 
You hear the sound changing, and that's purely the wave tables. To do that with an ordinary analog synth, you have to use your LFOs and your root and destinations, and I can do it with the Korg MS, but you use up all your options just getting that basic sound, and the great thing about the world off is with just one oscillator and using its own options and nothing else, you can get this rich, phasey, powered sound, and it's um, just a great starting point for things like that. Any questions on the Waldorf, put them up here. I'll go through whatever feature that you're interested in. Um, I said there's loads and loads of wavetables, there's frequency modulation, amplitude modulation, modulation matrix, there's some math functions which I haven't even explored yet. And um, of course it's multi -umbo. I haven't really used it multi -umbo. I use it monophonically. And that's all for today. Like I said, any questions, put them on there. Any comments, put them on there. I'd be glad to hear from you. Goodbye.